Hello, and thank you for joining us for Achieve It Solutions demonstration on AR collections and tracking management. Many companies are aware of the importance of customer relations to drive sales producing revenue. Utilizing Resolve AR credit and collections for SAP Business One can provide many tools to help ensure to ensure that the sales department achieves great success. AR collections can optimize your receivables, allowing you to follow up more efficiently while increasing your cash flow by getting paid sooner and allows you to have a complete overview picture of AR exposure for each business partner, all from one individual screen. Some additional modules that work well with Resolve AR Collections are Resolve's Order to Cash module, which allows a one main screen view with an overview of all aspects of your order to cash cycle, which allows you to increase organizational efficiency, as well as Resolve Document Delivery and Data Messenger, which allows you to send invoices, statements, and, or and orders to your business partners on demand. Today we'll be reviewing an introduction to our AR collections, including your AR collections and payment history, your AR exposure and aging details, as well as working with sales order approvals right from your AR collection screen. We will also review how our BP Master Data Record can now contain all of your AR Collections master information, including aging totals, payment history, and to total exposure and credit remaining. Last but not least, we will go over all of our AR Collections and credit reports. We will be reviewing our open collections and documents first, then creating a call log reminder. Here you see some screenshots of our collections tracking options. Our next video will demonstrate this process. We're just going to go under our standard SAP Business One menu option and under Resolve, you'll see that we have our AR Collections option. Let's take a look at our Collections Tracking Documents. You can preview previous collection Tracking Documents from here and also add a new. Today we're going to be adding a new Collections Tracking Document. I'm simply going to enter in our business partner's name, their data will auto fulfill autofill directly from their business partner record and then we're going to add in the documents that we'd like to add to our collections tracking document by simply clicking on type this is going to allow us to choose what we'd like to add here today we're going to be adding AR invoices so once you select your AR invoice type it'll give you a list of all of the open AR invoices for this customer now just like standard SAP business one it will allow you to select multiple documents once I choose these they will fill in in our link documents tab here. You will be able to see the document due date and the amount of each document. You'll also be able to drill into these documents individually or directly to, into the business partner from the screen. Now at the bottom of our screen, our current balance will include all three of these documents in its balance. You can also see a little bit of different information from here. You can see your previous follow-ups for this business partner, the next follow-up, you can look at your display aging, which allows you to look into the direct AR aging information for this business partner. You'll note that these golden arrows appear. Just like in standard SAP Business One with Resolve, wherever you see a golden arrow, you can drill into that information. From your AR and aging payment history screen, you can also send out a copy of these invoices, a copy of their total AR statement, and also open up your payment details. You'll note that you have an option from your collections tracking screen to also open up your payment details. Our second tab is where we enter in our call log. So the reason I'm entering in a collections tracking document is because I spoke to this customer today and they promised a payment at the end of the week. So in our call log tab, I'm going to add a row and enter in the information from the phone call that I had today. You'll note that your actions as well as your results open up a menu with selections. These options are user-defined and can be anything that works for your customer. Now they promise to pay by the 25th, so I'm going to enter that as well, and they promise to pay $2,400. Your comments can be anything that you deem fit for this. I'm simply going to say called and promised payment. This information is really just for internal purposes. You'll see your kept column here. This is not needed until that payment is actually received. And then this is simply a yes, no column. This kept means that yes, they kept the promise to pay $2,400 by the 25th or no, they did not. If your business partner does not keep this promise, this information will go onto your broken promises report, which is something we'll be looking at later. Our third tab is for any attachments that you'd like to link to this collections tracking document. 
This can be anything that you'd like that you think would give anyone in your company a little bit of extra information. Now, as soon as we're done entering in all of our information, we're simply going to press add to add our collection tracking document to the system. Next, we're going to be reviewing our sales orders approvals via our AR collections. SAP Business One offers a very functional and flexible approval system. However, once a document is approved, it cannot be changed. Resolve AR Collections allows your sales orders to be added and updated as sales orders, not drafts, and ensures approval rules are always met while allowing previously approved documents to be changed and rechecked. Additionally, the approval can be rechecked as a sales order is processed and not just during your entry. Here we're going to take a look at a, how AR Collections simplifies your setup and therefore reduces the learning curve by using your existing approval templates while enabling this advanced functionality for sales orders. Before we go into our AR collection sales order approvals, let's take a quick look at approvals come from in standard SAP Business One. In your administration menu, we're gonna go into our approval process here. Let's take a quick look at a template that we already have created. So here you see we have a template that's for low margin on a sales order. This means that every sales order that meets the criteria within this template regarding will go in for our approval process. Now AR Collections will look at all of the sales order approvals that you have in the system and will allow you to approve them, see the orders that are pending approval, and also see the orders that have been rejected directly from your AR Collections screen. So now that we've briefly gone over our sales order approval process in standard SAP Business One, let's go into our AR Collection options so that we can take a look at our sales order approvals through there. I'm going to open back up our Resolve menu, select our AR Collections, and go into our Documents Approval screen. Now within our Document Approval screens, you can filter your criteria, or you can simply look up a pending, a rejected, or an approved list of documents. For our options here, I want to see all of our pending documents. I'm simply going to remove my Approved By so that I can see all of the documents. You'll note that you also see a button for batch approving. This will allow you to approve all of the documents seen within the screen at one time, which allows you to save time from manually approving each one. I'm going to click Find, and this is going to show me all of my pending documents. So as you can see here, these are all of our sales orders that are pending approval. You can click on each sales order individually, and it will show you more details in your approval rows for selected sales order screen at the bottom of our grid. Now remember, you can select one or more of these and use batch approval to approve multiple options or do one at a time manually. Here you see our different statuses, which will allow us to see all the different sales orders in the system. Now using AR Collections document approval allows you to stay within your resolve menu in order to approve your sales order. There's no need to go back and forth into your approval or run the standard SAP Business One sales order approval report. Now let's take a look at our AR Collections available reports. The first report we're going to be looking at is our on hold report. Our on hold report gives you an overview of any of your sales orders currently on hold along with the information such as who the salesperson is, who can approve the order, and what's the basis for the hold. Our second report is our AR Collections callback report. The Collections Callback Report allows management to get an overview of how productive a collection specialist has been or to review the status of collections activities. Our third report is our Broken Promises Report. This report is going to allow the user to see and analyze how reliable a customer has been when it's indicated that they will be making a payment. If you know that a customer is very reliable based upon reviewing their history, you may allow orders on hold to be approved in advance of receipt of payment. Our last report is our Cash Receipt Forecast Report. This report uses all of the information that AR Collections captures about customer payment performance and combines it with the outstanding sales documents to adjust for when the customer is actually likely to pay, rather than based upon just their, their payment terms. This can help you gain a more realistic insight into how cash will be received over time and your general cash overview. As you can see here, these are two examples, one of your callback report and one of your cash receipts forecast report. Now let's take a look at our AR Collections reports. You'll see that we have a Documents on Hold report, a Collections Callback report, a Broken Promises report, and a Cash Receipts Forecast report. So let's take a look at our first report, our Documents on Hold. Our first report opens right into your filters. You can filter this by Salesperson, Approver, Customer, the status of the document, the order dates, 
or the delivery dates of the document. You can enter in as many details or as little details as you'd like. So for us, we're going to simply click on pending. So this is going to allow you to see all of your documents that are pending approval based upon your sales order approvals in AR Collections. Once we click OK, our orders on hold report and we'll open with all of the sales orders pending approval or on hold. Now let's take a look at our collections callback report. Again, this opens with a filter, which you can put in as many details to limit your results as you'd like, or you can enter in a very simple amount of details so you can see more information. So for our collections callback report, so as the manager, I'm going to leave my assigned to blank and I'm going to put my status as open because I want to see all open callbacks. Now once I click OK, it's going to open up my callback report and it's going to show me who each callback is assigned to, the follow-up date and time, as well as the customer and the contact information. So now keep in mind from all of your report screens, you can also use your Excel option in SAP Business One and export all of these reports to a standard Excel spreadsheet, which then can be distributed or formatted to your desire. Now let's open up our broken promises report. I'm going to leave all of my information blank because I'd like to see all of my broken promises. Now earlier in our presentation, we mentioned our broken promises. So now the information from your broken promises report comes fr directly from your collections tracking information. Once you speak to a customer and they make a promise to you to pay a specific amount on a specific date, if that promise is kept, in your kept column, you would mark that as yes. However, if an unfortunate circumstance that promise is not kept, you would mark that as no, and then that collections tracking information will show on your broken promises report because that business partner did not pay either the amount or on the date that they promised they would. So now from this screen, you can open up your customer record or you can open up the tracking information document associated to this broken promise, which allows you to see the details surrounding the broken promise from this customer. You can update on that collections tracking document and also put in for an additional callback if needed. Last but not least, let's take a look at our cash receipts forecast report. This report is going to allow you to see your forecasted cash flow. This is a great opportunity for your manager or for the head of your department to see the, the possible incoming cash flow. So again, we can filter by customer, customer group, specific interval, posting, due, or document date. And we can also decide which documents we're going to include in our reports. So for now, I'm going to leave all of my filtering criteria blank and I'm only going to select my invoices and my sales orders. Now note that you all have an option for a summary review or a detail view. The summary review will give you an overview of the information meeting the criteria and the detail view will give you more information about each of these documents. So for our example, let's leave it on summary review. Let's click OK to open up our forecast report. And now as you can see, you can see the information directly on your screen. And if you'd like to send this to a manager without them having to run the same report, feel free to export to Excel again, format as needed, and email right over to them. So this report shows you your customer's name, their average days to pay, their overall balance due, and then also their balance is due per month. So as you can see, there is a wide variety of reports offered in Resolve AR Collections that help you to increase cash flow, keep track of all of your incoming payments, and also keep track of all of the customers that may have a history of being late to pay or may have broken promises to you in the past. Lastly, we're going to be taking a look at our business partner master record in relation to AR Collections. Accessing the AR Collections information directly from your business partner via our AR Collections tab makes it quick and easy to see your aging details, the business partner's payment history, as well as allows you to access all of the customer's related collections documents. You can also create a new collections document here as well. Let's take a look. Now let's take a look at AR Collections as seen directly from your business partner master data record. I'm going to open up a business partner master record and I'm just going to open up the same customer that we've been using through our presentation. So once we open up our business partner master record, you'll see that you have a tab called AR Collection. This is what links Resolve AR Collection directly to SAP Business One from your business partner data record. When you click on your AR Collection tab, the first thing we'll see is 
all the way to our left, we'll see our aging details. Your aging details consist of all of your current aging, zero to 30 days and so on, as well as your credit information, including current orders, deliveries, and overall AR balance. It will also tell you your customer's credit limit or, and the remaining available credit. You'll note that your total exposure includes all of the information from your credit information, orders, delivery, and AR balance. In the main grid, you'll see all of the payment history for your business partner. Again, be reminded that anything with a golden arrow will allow you to drill into those documents just like any other SAP Business One screen. Now from this tab, you can also go into your collection reports for this business partner. You can create a tracking document and you can see related collection information. So the first tab we're going to open up is our related collections. Now this is going to allow you to open up directly your collections tracking documents that already exist for this customer. Simply use this golden arrow and it'll allow you to drill in and open up that related collections tracking document. Then from here, you can go in and look at your call log to see who has been in contact with this customer. And you can also enter in a new call log. Utilizing your Create Tracking Document button will allow you to create a new collection tracking document for this customer. And finally, using your Collection Reports option, you can simply click on it. It will auto fill in your customer's name and code. And then you can select which report you'd like to run from all of our AR Collections reports then simply click Run. It'll open up the filter criteria that we mentioned earlier, and then once you click OK, it will open up the actual report. Keep in mind still that from all of these screens, if your Excel symbol is available in your SAP Business One toolbar, that means that you can export all of that information to a standard Excel spreadsheet. Now from your business partner master data, this allows you to have a total and complete overview of your AR exposure Per business partner. This is a great tool that will save you lots of time, especially if you're a manager in this department and you want to see a generalized overview. Having access to create your tracking document, see already created tracking documents, and run your reports allows you to save so much time because everything can be done from this single main screen. I hope that you found our demonstration helpful and I hope that I've been able to show you everything that Resolve AR Elections can do for you. I have included my contact information here. Please do not hesitate to contact me at my phone number or email address as seen for any additional information resol regarding Resolve AR Collections or any other of our modules.